locked into UFC light heavyweight division collision. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. A classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu-Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck doing everything to try and make you think submission's coming, even if it's just to change position to secure top. And they separate. Good stick. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Attack an arm bar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Just over two minutes now to go. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Head kick is blocked. Got the single collar tie. Boy, tie plump. Nice punch there by Chuck Liddell. Jockey in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Pushing forward now with strikes, and now he's able to secure the takedown. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjust. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Are you ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. Nice stick with the right hand. And that one was heavy. Oh, collar tie. He's giving him so many different things right now. Battle for position here. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Slam! That'll change the complexion of this one. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. 
Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by the Iceman. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Battling for hooks. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. The hip toss as he takes it down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. A oh, little single collar tie there. And now he's got the tie clutch. And now he's secured back position. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position. Got him. He's going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking, because he's getting choked. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the seen you lean on this in the octagon. No, I, I can't get those <laughs> legs up there. Come on, man, look at these tree trunks. They don't go up around nobody's shoulder. I like to keep my feet on the ground, and I like to grind. That's what I'm doing. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, wow! That was nasty! What a performance! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout. Just reset it inside. The Octagon. 